conservationists in South Africa are trying to give rhinos a shot against poachers. It's a radical scheme. Where the rhino is anaesthetized, its horn is then injected with a mixture of dye and poison that's harmless to rhinos and toxic to humans. What we tried to assess is whether it was possible for us to, under high pressure, infuse liquid compounds into these tubules in a rhino horn and thus contaminated to the point where it's no longer attractive as a medicinal product to end users or to be used for any kind of aesthetic appeal, so libation cups or ceremonial dagger handles. One, two, three, four. It was developed by the Rhino Rescue Project, a non-profit trying to protect endangered rhinos. Well, the group has completed about 700 infusions in South Africa, and they want word to spread that poachers are wasting their time. You know, it has been known that you take their horn off, the animal goes into this form of depression. And sure, they will adapt, you know, over time, but it, yeah, it's just it's not, not what I believe in. And it's, you know, I think that devaluing the horn with the poison is the only other sort of compromise where you could, you're devaluing the horn, but you also got an animal that's still beautiful and natural. Their horns have helped protect the species for millions of years. But they're also the reason that more than 8,000 rhinos have been killed in South Africa since 2010. And while poaching is slowly declining, Rhino Rescue Group wants to go one step further. It might be an idea to sort of lace horn with sort of radioactive traces, which you could then, which would then um, make it a lot easier to detect rhino horn that has been moved across international borders. And it also then moves the crime from smuggling wildlife materials to the possibility of terrorism or terrorism-related um, charges. It's a fight far from over, as some species of rhino remain critically endangered. These conservationists hope their poison project quickly spreads while there's still time. Murray Beveridge, TRT World.